How's it going boys? So I've been using the stealth hanger for the past couple of weeks and in today's video I'm gonna give you my full unbiased review of whether this hanger is actually worth $370 or not. So the things we're gonna talk about today are the build quality of the device, how easy it is to use to put on and take off, and lastly, is it worth the money or should you be spending it on something else? Before I begin, I'd highly recommend you to join my penis enlargement course, it's totally free. The link is gonna be in the description of this video below. Full disclaimer before I begin this video, this video is not sponsored by Stealth. They did not pay me to say anything on this video and they are not reviewing this video before it gets published. However, they did send out the device for me to test it out and give my honest opinion about it. So I've been using the Stealth Vacuum Hanger for about two weeks now and the videos of me putting it on, taking it off and the challenges that I went through are already on my OnlyFans page. So if you wanna see it in action, you can check out my OnlyFans page because I can't show such stuff here on YouTube. So when I first get the Stealth Hanger and I opened the package, I honestly was very impressed by the packaging. So the packaging is really neat. Everything is organized in the right place. Everything has its own plastic cover. Everything is wrapped properly. So right from the beginning, you really feel that you're getting something of premium quality. However, another thing that I immediately realized is that I was really overwhelmed by the amount of parts that were inside this suitcase. So here are the parts that come included with the stealth hanger. First of all, it comes with your own custom cup. So you actually order cups that fit your penis size perfectly on the millimeter. So on the website, they actually teach you how to measure your penis size, and then you can order a kit that is pretty much customized to your size. They have, I think, over 16 or 17 different sizes, cup sizes that you can choose from. And when you order a specific cup size, they actually give you two more. So one bigger and one smaller, just in case you didn't measure properly and you know, something smaller or bigger might fit you better. So it basically comes with three different cups and then it comes with three sets of silicone covers for those cups. Again, the silicone covers are also customized. They're matching the sizes of the cups you ordered. So unlike other hangers where they give you two sets of silicone sleeves that they assume they're gonna fit everybody, with the Stealth, you're actually getting the silicone sleeves that are basically tailored for your penis size. It also comes with a saber skin, which is probably by far one of my favorite parts in this kit. It also comes with three different sets of tapes. So one is self-adhesive, meaning it only holds onto itself. The beige tape is a waterproof tape that you can use it to protect the head of your penis or your pee hole. And then the transparent tape, I honestly have not figured out what is it for. It also comes with a pump handle that looks super fancy and neat. And it also comes with a tension scale that can help you measure the tension that you're using to hang your penis with. And also some spare parts for the vacuum cups are included just in case you need to replace them. And it also comes with a set of five different straps in different lengths that you can use with the carbon fiber base and you can use them pretty much to attach weight onto the vacuum cups. And it also includes a logbook and an instructional manual. So as you can see, there are a lot of parts in this vacuum hanger. And to be honest, can be a bit overwhelming at the beginning because I personally couldn't figure out how to use it properly and I had to watch their example videos to understand how should I be using it. So the idea behind creating this vacuum hanger is basically giving you every possible variation that you can wear the vacuum cups with. So if you prefer to use the vacuum cups with the included silicon caps, you can do that. If you prefer to use the vacuum cups with the taping method, you can do that. Or if you're like me and you prefer the traditional method of hanging, what I did is I basically cut the saber skin and I attached it to the cup. So I'm not actually using the silicon caps that come with it. What I'm doing is actually just wrapping the head of my penis with a bandage or a self-adhesive. You can use the self-adhesive that comes with it or you could just buy one at the pharmacy. It costs like a dollar. And then I would wrap the head of my penis with it. And after that, what I did is I cut another part of the saber skin and 
I basically wrap the body of my penis so I cover pretty much everything besides the head of my penis with it and it helps create a better seal and makes it a little bit more comfortable. So to be honest with you, I actually played around with most of the wearing methods of this hanger and I followed the instructions that were given by the creator. And to be really honest, I found them overwhelming and I will tell you exactly why. So if you would follow the instructional manual that is included with it, here are the official steps to putting on this vacuum hanger. So first of all, you get a cut two pieces of the waterproof tape and you get to tape the pee hole, the head of your penis. After you did that, you're gonna use the self-adhesive tape that comes with it and then wrap your penis and the head of your penis. Afterwards, you're supposed to use the saber skin to protect the body of your penis. Afterwards, you're gonna have to put this silicon sleeve onto the saber skin, so you're gonna wear it on your penis and then attach the cup to it. After you attach the cup to it, you're gonna have to vacuum the air, create the vacuum inside. And then once you create the vacuum inside, you have to screw this part on so that you can hook it to some weights or to the all day stretcher. And as you can see, there are I don't know, maybe seven or eight steps to putting on this vacuum hanger properly. Now, I didn't do all of this. In fact, I tried using those silicon sleeves and they were simply not making proper seal. I found it very difficult to slide my penis in them because the hole here, the opening here will actually hold onto the saber skin and it simply it's difficult to kind of slide in after you put it on so that's why the best way i found to use this device is to actually use the silicon sleeve itself and then the way i would put it on is i would just open it up like this and then you have a good big hole here that you can slide your penis inside wrap it back and then you would vacuum the head of your penis inside and then you're good to go. So for me personally, what ended up happening is I was using this vacuum hanger that is supposed to be extremely advanced and you know everything is well thought of. At the end, I was using it like a traditional vacuum hanger. I was basically just using it with a regular silicon sleeve. Granted, this is a very high quality silicon sleeve. Everything here, you know, when you touch the plastic, when you see it, it's all branded, it's all very, very well made. You feel like it's a premium product, but at the end of the day, I personally preferred the comfort and I preferred to put it on in the traditional way and not complicate myself with so many steps. And I found it to be the most effective this way. Now, here are my honest thoughts about this vacuum hanger and what I truly think about it. In terms of build quality, in terms of the way it looks, it's by far the coolest vacuum hanger you can possibly buy. Nothing even comes close. So the build quality is amazing and you have pretty much every part you can think of to use a vacuum hanger. Now, is it an overkill? Are all those parts necessary? For me personally, they're not that necessary. One thing that I found a bit ridiculous uh, in this vacuum hanger is the pump handle. All you want to do is create a little bit of vacuum pressure inside this cup and including such a massive vacuum pump and gauge, I think it's a bit too much. It's a bit of an overkill. Also, I found it unnecessary to include so many straps for attaching weights to the hanger. I would have been just fine with one or two, so I really don't need five of them. And the thing is, the reason why I'm saying that is all those parts, all those extra steps actually contribute to making the product more expensive. Now, looking at this device, I can only imagine how many hours and time invested in designing this device and designing every component. And that is what contributes to the high price tag of this device. So you're actually paying $370 for a vacuum hanger that you basically cannot use out of the box. So the weights are not included with it. You do not have the all day stretcher included with it. So once you get that, you're gonna also have to buy weights so that you can actually use it properly. 
And if to be honest, I would personally prefer if they could cut back on some of the components that were not as necessary and they are heavy to ship. For example, the pump, for example, the three tapes that are included with it, the five straps that are included with it, the huge suitcase, all of those things actually make it expensive to ship and expensive to manufacture. And that's why it costs $370. Now, who is this device for? To be honest, I feel like this device is like the Gucci of vacuum hangers. So if you want the coolest looking device, the best quality made device, the most expensive device, this is probably gonna be the vacuum hanger for you. Can you achieve the same functionality with a more budget friendly vacuum hanger? Absolutely. So I feel like this device is made for the most advanced users and users that have a lot of money in the bank and they don't mind spending almost $400 on a vacuum hanger. One massive plus though for this vacuum hanger is that it's pretty much tailored to your size. So if you never found a vacuum cup that fits your penis head perfectly, this might be an option for you. To be completely honest with you, I love this device and I'm using it now every day. But if I didn't get it for free, I'm not sure I would actually go and pay $370 for it, even though it's the coolest looking device. But the same results can be achieved with something a little bit cheaper. And you know, I'm personally in my daily life, I'm not a big fan of designer brands. I never care about the most expensive and the highest quality things, but I'm sure some people do care about that. Some people prefer a vacuum hanger that looks so cool and this device is made for them. I'm actually really interested to know what do you guys think about this device. Is it actually worth the money or not? In any ways, I'm gonna leave a link for this device in the description of this video below if you wanna check it out yourself.